My name is Elizabeth McLeod, and I'm the author of Vanished and Galloping Through History, both books from Anik Press. I was delighted to write Vanished because the topic of mysterious disappearances has always fascinated me. As a kid, when I heard these stories, there was some magic to them. How did they actually happen? How were these? How was it possible for people or things to totally vanish so no one had a clue of what had ever happened to them? Of all the stories in the book Vanished, I think one of my favorites is the story about the, uh, the three men, the convicts who escaped from Alcatraz prison. Alcatraz Prison is on Alcatraz Island, just in the harbor outside of San Francisco, surrounded by water. How do you get out of that? How they were able to, under the guards' noses, um, gather up all of, this, all of these materials and equipment that they needed to escape. They even managed to make paper mache heads that they could put in the beds. The guards would just flash their flashlight into the cells. They'd see a head there. So I think it, it's just incredible what they were able to accomplish and how they actually made made it out of that place. I think combining history with mystery to interest kids in, into, in history is a great way to, to go because everybody loves a mystery. For instance, in my book Bones Never Lie, I looked at mysteries that involved royalty throughout history. I also wrote a book called Secrets Underground, and that one looks at mysterious caves and tunnels and other subterranean places that, um, that have had a big effect on, on the history that we have. Another book that I wrote is called Galloping Through History, Amazing True Horse Stories. I tell kids about the American Revolution by mostly by telling them the story of Sybil Luddington and her horse Star. Star actually had to gallop down these very muddy roads through this terrible weather and Star kept going. Sybil Luddington rode twice as far as Paul Revere. She was successful. Paul Revere actually got caught. Her accomplishment was so much more especially because she was a 16-year-old girl. Writing books and presenting them to audiences involves a lot of different steps, and I think my favorite step in the process is doing the research. It's so wonderful when you find those little tidbits of information that you know will amaze kids and will really fascinate them. I'm hoping that when kids read a book like Vanished or when they read a book like Secrets Underground, they take away a real love of history. I, I'd like them to be amazed by it. I'd like them to have a sense of wonder about the ordinary and extraordinary people that they're going to meet. I hope my books will give kids a love of history.